Chef, MC, fashionista and entrepreneur Ntabiseng T Ramaboa, a.k.a. Chef T, recently released a new cookbook titled My Modern African Kitchen. Drawing inspiration from growing up in Soweto and her mom's and her grandmother's cooking, the book includes recipes influenced by her upbringing, making traditional food with a modern twist. With this book, she wants families to spend time together through the variety of recipes. She now joins me in studio to tell us more about a new book. Okay. Chef and Dee, very good morning and a warm welcome. Well, thank you for having me, Spear. <laughs> good to see you. Huh? You know, food forms uh, a big part of our lives. So uh, as a chef, how do you ensure that you make food more, much more interesting, especially for those who don't have the culinary skills that you have? So for me as a chef, I try and make food that is very accessible. Um, recipes rather that are very accessible. I use everyday ingredients and the reason for that is growing up oh, when I started getting very curious about recipes and cookbooks every time I pick up a recipe I would have to go google a an ingredient mm -hmm. so in this cookbook there are no issues like that this this is a book that is filled with delicious recipes the family can try a six-year-old can make those recipes I mean I have one I've been making from when I was 13 mm -hmm. uh, so we try and take that whole you know this big monster out of the kitchen try and give you your confidence back when it comes to cooking everyday ingredients very quick and easy recipes my thing is you shouldn't be in the kitchen more than half an hour mm. the rest of the time you want to spend connecting with your family i mean fam in families parents are working there's homework there's all this work-life balance you don't want to be spending more time in the kitchen when you could be spending with family so uh, you know, Tabi, you book. make it sound so easy, <laughs> yet uh, I don't think it is that easy uh, combining all these simple, simple ingredients and then coming up with something absolutely extraordinary and also good looking as well. I mean, I'm going through some of the, 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 the cookbook and yeah, it looks really good. Thank you. Thank you so much. For me, I guess easy because it comes from a place of love. I've always loved cooking. It's something that I do to relax, uh, but I'm also aware of the fact that people are intimidated by that space or people yeah. do not have time. So really without, I mean, there's a recipe that you had to page through quickly there. Uh, you were looking at as we we're talking. It's a tart, uh, bath and pilcha tart. This is something that could feed the family, entire family of five for literally under 30 rands okay. and super easy to make. Anyone can make it. You know, you, you've said that uh, some of the recipes in this book are influenced by your upbringing. Yes. So what are some of these recipes, uh, recipes that I can find in this book? Okay, so the one that I just mentioned, and there's also Amasi cheesecake. Amasi I grew up, cheesecake? Amasi, yes. Yeah, so this wow. is a cheesecake that you make with Amasi Inkomasi, fermented milk, Whoa. jelly, jelly powder, and that's it. Those two, you don't need to bake it. The base of it on the cookbook is Oreo. So you've got this dark black... Um, base of this biscuit and then the topping is fresh fruits uh, but my inspiration really is my mom because i grew up in soweto she was a single parent she's happily married now i need to say that it's very important <laughs> uh, but she was on her own and she 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 was making ends meet and i remember looking back when i was a teenager thinking actually we didn't have a lot but it didn't really register because meal time was very exciting i mean my mom had very creative ways of taking little and stretching it to more so today in South Africa we are in a very funny space uh, with our economy mm -hmm. so for me I see the cookbook as an investment as a tool mm -hmm. that we can go to to show us how to make special meals using everyday ingre ingredients mm -hmm. meals that you can be proud of to serve your family to serve your guest to serve the in-laws without breaking the bank <laughs> how do you do it though do you wake up one morning and then decide or rather do you think hard of uh, a certain recipe or to just wake up one morning, open the cupboard, just throw in whatever you find in the cupboard and uh, come up with a, uh, an extraordinary dish? It's a combination of all of that. So wake up one morning and throw everything together or just a collection of because food food tells a story so for me with my book i'm telling you a story of my life a whole chapter in the book focuses on soweto and then there's other chapters that take you to my time in italy when i lived in italy and how i was influenced there by the food culture my time in la so all of those inspirations if i go to a place and they save me a great meal i literally try and dig in and find all the components that make this dish amazing and then I go home and make it my own and I mean I have a whole chapter dedicated to recipes using up because mm. maize meal unites us it's one of the things that unites us as a country actually black white Indian at some point 
in the week everybody's having pap. So there I'm showing you how to play around with it and that's from my influence from Italy, my stay in Italy. There. So I How was it received there? It was received. I mean, that was amazing. Uh, yeah. Italians are, on, are big on food. Uh -huh. You know, lunch there is about four hours. That tells you something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So food is big. Food is celebrated. How uh, about the South African ingredients that you sometimes use? Are they receptive to those? Um, I mean, you... you Africa is on the main agenda now. Everyone is excited and intrigued oh, about yes. our way of things and how we do things. But the one ingredient that I'm fancy, oh, super excited about here in South Africa is maize meal. Oh, yes. Because we can make pizzas, we can make chips, we can make tarts as I have in the cookbook. I treat it as couscous. They're like, it's so endless what you can do. With and it. I was actually shocked that you could hear, I mean, you, you, you could make scones with using millimeters. Yes, <laughs> you can make just about anything. <laughs> Talk to us about uh, your, your pop-up kitchen, the Taste Kitchen. What yes. does that entail? So the Taste Kitchen is my space in Maboneng. Actually, the picture there, I'm sitting outside the kitchen oh, in okay. Maboneng in a beautiful French colonial white building in Maboneng. So for me, this is my innovative studio, but also I host bespoke events. So we work differently from your normal restaurant in that there's no walk-in. Mm -hmm. uh, we do bespoke events. The menu is proudly South African with a modern twist. We shuttle, I guess, to Maboneng give them a young tour of the city because Mabaneng is a melting pot of culture. Right. Uh, young tour of the city, they come up, we receive them. There'll be a guy playing nice guitar music and then when they come in, they're having khamer oh. because oh. I oh. wanted to feel festive. For me, nothing says festive or Christmas or anything beautiful like khamer gugu. So I use my mom's recipe for ginger beer. I give it okay. a modern twist with lemongrass and then we just take you on this beautiful journey of South African flavors. In fact, mm. I've got the sauces here from the Taste Kitchen. So this one is the chakalaka sauce. The chakalaka sauce. And this okay. one is the tomato relish. Uh -huh. And the reason they are bottled now, they'll be available at retail stores. I can't just say yet where. Uh, but we bottle them because they did so well. Customers would never have enough of these. Okay. And this is um, chakalaka, obviously creamy based. And the tomato sauce, like you would always have it gravy at the mat. But obviously this one is fancy using Mediterranean techniques, uh, okay. but very clean flavors. This, these are your favorite sauces, you just don't know it yet. Oh, stop, <laughs> stop, stop. It's so early in the morning for you to be tantalizing my taste buds. <laughs> now, you recently yes. launched this cookbook. We don't have much time, unfortunately. Where can you get hold of a copy? All exclusive books or on my profile, social media, chef underscore NTI on all platforms. Okay. All exclusive books, all good bookstores will all have right. it. Tabi, we appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you so for much having me. <laughs> well, that was Chef uh, Ndi talking to us about a new cookbook titled My Modern African Kitchen. We'll have more in a moment. This is Morning Live.